OK, so as I mentioned, guys, you know, I would just want to relate, again, this, this form. Remember, when we're multiplying fractions, we're just multiplying numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Now, again, hopefully you guys recognize this is a fraction multiplied by its reciprocal. So we know the answer is 1. But again, if we get stuck, we know we can still multiply it across and get 1, right? And again, so here we recognize a function multiplied by its reciprocal. We know the answer is 1. But I just want to show you guys, there's multiple different ways you could do this. Again, you could do 1 over cotangent theta. You could use the reciprocal identity for tangent. And you get 1. You could leave tangent there. And you could do cotangent as 1 over tangent. So again, using these reciprocal identities. When we're looking to simplify, typically we're looking for something in the denominator to divide it with something in the numerator. But what if you also use the quotient identities? Sine of theta over cosine of theta times cosine of theta over sine of theta. Would that also work? Yes. And whatever way your brain like, wants to immediately go without falling asleep will work. All right? So let's look at the next one. The next one is 3 fourths times 4. Again, guys, when you're trying to do operations with integers and fractions, just make sure you write your integer as a fraction. And again, multiplication is rather simple. You multiply straight across. And then obviously we can divide one more time. So here, again, a lot of people get stuck here because they say, well, why don't I rewrite cotangent here and then cosine? The problem is nothing divides out, does it? So that's not really going to help us, will it? And if I rewrite cosine as 1 over secant, that's not really going to help us. But if I start thinking about this, if I rewrite tangent as sine of theta over cosine of theta. So if I use the quotient identity rather than the reciprocal identity, I can see that cosine is actually going to divide out to give me sine of theta. See it? So again, you got, you got to be able to adapt. Okay? Not everything is straightforward. Next example, um, 1 third times 1 fourth. You could multiply across, right? But since everything's multiplied by multiplication, couldn't you just divide out those threes? Right? And that's essentially what we're doing. So again, in this case, I have a cotangent and I have a secant. Um, immediately, I think, you know, if I write this as tangent, that's not going to help. If I put that as a cosine, that's not going to help. But if I put this as cosine of theta over sine of theta, and I write this as 1 over cosine of theta, that's going to leave me with 1 over sine of theta, which I could simplify one more time to give me cosecant. This is not wrong, but prefer, preferably, you're going to want to write it as like a uh, trigonometric function without not written as a fraction. Okay.